friends welcome back to my channel today i have power supply sony playstation its model number is adp 200 er a8 so it's 100 to 240 volt 2.5 ampere output is 4.8 volt 1.5 ampere and 12 volt 16 ampere it's from sony so output is 12 volt 16 ampere Let's see the design. In first video we will see its major parts and we will divide this power supply in four portions. If you look the input portion it is input filter protection then we have DC bus. In this DC bus we have bridge rectifier and capacitor. This will give power supply to this standby section and it will give us 4.8 volt 1.5 ampere input filter circuit bridge rectifier capacitor and standby section then we have another portion this portion it is called PFC power factor correction what it will do here it will provide 330 volt DC and it will take 330 volt DC it is PFC power factor correction so this circuit will boost up this 330 volt line up to 400 volt when it will boost up when we will give a PS on command power supply on command it will come to this section first the circuit will at 330 volt this circuit but when we need to turn on the main power that is 12 volt 16 ampere that time we need 12 volt 16 ampere power supply this PS on command will come here and the same 400 volt will reach here and it will provide us 12 volt 16 ampere we applied 100 volt to 240 volt AC 50 hertz and then we rectified the voltage we received 330 volt and we are taking voltage from standby section this standby section will provide at this connector 5 volt that's called standard should be 4.8 volt so it is 4.8 or 5 volt that's the same now normally we say it's 5 volt when anyone will turn on AC DC standby study it practically when anyone will turn on this AC DC standby so this command will turn on this power factor correction PFC circuit PFC circuit will start boosting this 330 volt to 400 volt when we apply power on command so this circuit what is here a MOSFET set PFC choke and PFC controller IC so it will start to drive these MOSFETs MOSFET and rectifier it will start to boost up this 330 volt this 330 volt which are coming here it will start 400 volt so our circuit will start to generate 400 volt why we need PFC this is now question when we study any SMPS circuit we start to apply switching pulses so it will any IC will control its duty cycle on time vs off time from here to here any IC will maintain its duty cycle but the efficiency of controller will depend on this voltage supply if we apply 100 volt if we apply 100 volt multiply it 1.414 140 141 volt DC at DC rail R 
240 multiplied by 1.414 that is 339 volts so at this wide range at this point 141 volt and 339 volt this IC have to manage its duty cycle because duty cycle is managed based on this input voltage and the load current load current we have 16 volt because any power supply must work at lowest voltage at maximum current so when we need a very high current or we need a good efficiency for a specific device we must maintain this level we must regulate this level so that this IC should work properly might be it can be adjusted to a lower level or an upper level to compensate this regulation factor the efficiency of the converter PFC circuit is used to regulate this DC bus in some way we adjust this VDC voltage at 400 volt even at the input there is a variation if we have this variation here 400 volt to 200 volt 240 volt but we take 400 volt here now our this circuit standby circuit will work at 330 volt and it will work at 400 volt DC but to turn on this circuit because here we need 16 ampere current then we need a PFC circuit so this PFC circuit will generate voltage 400 volt to this bulk capacitor normally this circuit will work at 330 volt direct rectified voltage but when we need to turn on this section this section will be turned on and it will regulate the voltage at 400 volts 390 volt 400 volt we can say 400 volt it depends on the design how the circuit is calculated we can say suppose it is 400 volt so 400 volt DC will apply to this switcher MOSFETs and uh, this transformer so it will start switching and it will give us a regulated output so that converter efficiency will not drop because any converter when it will switch at lower level it need a more wide turn on time so when it will turn on for long time so its efficiency will drop so to maintain the efficiency the PFC circuit will start working and it will give a regulated voltage stabilized voltage DC voltage to switch the circuit and in our next videos I will try to cover in detail how this circuit is working how this circuit will work and this circuit function PFC function so we will cover in two or three videos because I want to explain in detail if you don't have a good practical knowledge in power electronics never try to repair this always use isolation transformer and always use series lamp to protect and your workbench must be insulated and use a good power ground now I will apply power I have 230 volt here in the standby section I am taking 4.77 volt which we called 4.8 volt now I did not turn down the main power supply it is 0 volt so now I am getting 328 volt why because at AC input I have 230 volt at 230 volt I should take 324 volts 230 multiplied by 1.41 so it should be 334 volts 328 volt that's nice now I will turn on this power supply I will make jumper between I connected AC DC on I am taking now I am taking 11.86 volt but now if we come to this capacitor we can see it is 400 volt now I disconnected the output command the voltage started dropping 
370, 330, because this time the PFC circuit is turned off. Now the PFC circuit turned off. Now we have no output in the output section, 12 volt section. We have just this standby circuit is working. Standby circuit is working. Now we received the standard output voltage that is from the bridge rectifier. So our PFC circuit is now off. I will turn on again. Our PFC circuit started switching. Now it is regulated 411 volt. So it is normally it is called 400 volt. So our PFC circuit is switching and it is maintaining the DC bus voltage at 400 volt. Now if input will drop at 100 volt but we will find 400 volt at this capacitor to switch turn on this section. Normally when we will apply 100 volt at input we will take 141 volt at this capacitor and we will take 5 volt in the output but when we want to turn on this section 5 volt will apply to AC DC standby our this circuit will activate it and it will maintain 400 volt input voltage are 100 volt so output of bridge is 141 volt but our this PFC circuit will start switching and it will boost this voltage at 400 volt so that the output current should be maintained and we will take a regulated output and the converter efficiency will remain stabilized. I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative give a thumb up and in our next videos I will discuss in detail so that our this circuit will working and we will discuss I will try to discuss in detail the function of every component in our next videos thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh